for Social Mobile Analytics and Cloud here with Cognizant. And I had the good fortune of meeting a colleague of mine who's the, actually the CTO of Cognizant Worldwide. His name is Raj Bala. Raj, thanks for joining us today. Uh, oh, thanks, Kevin. Very nice meeting you in this yeah. occasion. And very happy to share some of our experiences with you. Well, thank you. So you work on some very, very interesting projects related to the Internet of Things. Now, I write a lot about the Internet of Things, so I'm just thrilled to be able to um, talk to you. Can you share with the viewers what kinds of projects, what kind of solutions you have around the Internet of Things? All right. So Internet of Things, we use it uh, mainly for the processing industry as well as for healthcare industry. Okay. And now we are trying to explore more and more life sciences for more companies as well. So the processing, what do you mean by that? Okay. Uh, I'll give you an example. Um, if there are logs split out, continuously by the sensors. Mm -hmm. The data that is coming from the sensors are going to give you lots and lots of information about the missionaries, uh, you know, life expectancy, the failure parts, and all that. Mm -hmm. Interestingly, we have done one project with a customer where it's a revolving door uh, manufacturer. Okay. The revolving door continuously emits data for us oh. to predict when the mission... That revolving so there's door a sensor on the door. On the door. And the gap between the door and the fixture, it is narrowing down at the top or the bottom, depending on the hinges. Mm -hmm. So the sensors are giving us that information which, which hinge is going to fail and when. Okay. So we'll be able to predict in the next three months, you are going to have this failure. Uh -huh. And also it allows us to do a lot of analytics on the number of times the door opens and closes and how many visitors entered. So I can do a lot more analytics just by putting two, three sensors in your door. So you're the one that's going to be filling our inbox with data. Correct. So now we need to analyze it. Correct. So we have a platform built by Cognizant where we get the data from various devices and remove all the noises and create an API out of that and then use it for the application at the top level. So wow. that is the platform we have built right now within Cognizant. And uh, the applications of that is we are taking it to the healthcare where there is a continuous monitoring uh, also the diagnostic. We can do it on the human beings who have uh -huh. got a patch and is in his shoulder or something is you know, implanted in his knee or you know, pacemaker kind of a devices continuously emit the data. Yes. So we can collect, though your mobile which you are carrying could right. be a hub which collects the data mm -hmm. or we can collect it through the Wi-Fi or through the Bluetooth we can go to the mobile. So there are multiple ways of collecting the data. Now you are also sharing that you are using Connect, Connect. Uh, game platform right. to, in the area of Internet of Things. Absolutely. How is that? We are using Kinet to do the monitoring of the patients which are coming out of a th therapeutic uh, you know, treatment. Yeah, after an accident or something, if they go to the hospital, they give you exercises to do it at home for next three months. Right. So how they are doing? Are they doing it correctly? Are there any improvement? All that. So in front of the Kinet, the person stands and you know, really does the exercise what is given to him. That exercise is recorded and played to him in the monitor. Uh -huh. So how he does compared to that is also you know, recorded. And if there is any deviation, the system comes back and says, hey, you are not doing it right. This is the right way to do the things. So that kind of a support is there. And this data is collected and that is sent to the provider. So the therapist can say, hey, this guy is improving. So that you know, he can give you the next set of exercises. The payers are interested in this because it's a part of the wellness program as well as the compliance issue. Whether uh -huh. he does all the exercises given to him regularly, the payers want to give an incentive for him. And also, he, they know this person is ready for back-to-work program. Wow. So, so the Internet of Things can cover everything. Sensors can be applied absolutely. to any piece of machinery or even a swinging door or a human. Absolutely. I was just reading an article about how they are connecting sensors to cows in Switzerland to better monitor their health. And when they're ready to be inseminated or have pregnancy, you know, to have calves or anything. So this is fascinating. So what does a platform for the Internet of Things actually consist of? It is basically the data capturing part, noise removal, and converting into API. Those are all the three or four steps involved. Okay. After that, it's on a regular application platform, which gives you a user intern, you know, applications like an alert notification, 
uh, you're comparing with the threshold values, and you can do a lot more than that. In fact, you can automatically, if it really use it for a diagnostic purpose, you can almost send a ambulance to his house if there is a oh, threshold wow. value is not met. But those are all the mission critical applications which will take some more and time to mature. You were saying Cognizant has a center of excellence around the Internet of Things? In GTO, we have formed a center of excellence on Internet of Things. We have done a couple of POCs and the pilot with the program uh, with this center of excellence for our customers. We are still working on it. All right. And this is a big area where we think this is a big step towards making the planet smarter. Raj, I know you're very busy uh, with your global responsibility, so I want to thank you so much for sharing with the audience today. Oh, thank you so much, Kevin. Thank you.